Michael, what's the business case for the Internet of Things? There are in fact lots of different business cases for Internet of Things and, and, and wearables. It really depends on the usage cases that we're exploring. Yeah, for example, insurers could be using Internet of Things devices or wearables to reach precision pricing for their clients. Yeah, we could see that there's a huge business case within healthcare for preventing people to going into hospitals in the first places. The business cases are hugely various and very specific you know, to the user case that we're working on. And what challenges does the Internet of Things face moving forward? I don't think the Internet of Things as a sort of collection of technologies necessarily faces uh, many challenges because technology has a habit of overcoming uh, those, those challenges. Many of it is a sort of economic. Which of these user cases will be adopted first? Which are going to be funded? Who's paying for it? Those sorts of things. But looking at all the innovation at the show today, the industry will find, the, find its way through those things. Now, you're an expert on smart apps. So talk me through the latest technology. What's possible? We've moved from a world where you know, the, the, the app that you download and the app that I download are exactly the same to ones where apps adapt to uh, the way in which you use them, the context in which we use them. And that's beginning to open up a lot more possibilities than the sort of linear apps that we saw in the first place. I've been fascinated at the show today by the, the number of healthcare apps that are out there combined with sensors, right? So once you combine an app with some sensors, then you have the ability for the person who has perhaps a medical condition to look at how they're doing, for that uh, information to be relayed to their clinicians, and for people to be monitored in, in, in real time, not in an intrusive fashion, but in a way that prevents you know, crises within healthcare. And I think that's going to be absolutely huge. Do you think it will be very disruptive for businesses and industry to adapt to the new tech developments? And how best can they do this? It is going to be disruptive. Um, those who don't take this stuff seriously, I think, face disruption of their existing business models big time. Those who, who are exploring it, I think, are finding new possibilities very rapidly. Looking to the future now, and how will the Internet of Things develop industries? And vice versa, how will need and demand dictate how the Internet of Things evolves? Well, I think this is part of the rich pattern that we see around us. I mean, many of the firms here uh, probably won't be here in a few years' time, but in amongst them we'll see some real stars coming out as they, as they work out which are the usage cases that meet that sort of demand-supply equilibrium. Watch health. I think health is uh, going to be really big because you know, the economics of healthcare are hugely demanding for publicly funded uh, healthcare systems, and if they can use uh, wearables to you know, chip away at admissions or to prevent people being hospitalised in the first place, then there's a huge business case for that. So watch health is my guess. And there are just so many therapies out there as well, so many conditions that are you know, amenable to IoT type solutions. Thanks for watching. For more videos from our new economy, please subscribe.